harness this and talk to the girls? Uh, I mean, hopefully she gave a great answer um, in terms of how much fun it's been for them. For, for a coach, you always want to see your players grow and have success. I think for us, it's, um, we put a lot into building a foundation here culturally where no matter what the results are um, in our games, they're starting to learn what it looks like to be successful human beings. And that, that isn't really a goal or a result, it's more of a process. So every day we're trying to teach them how to build um, great habits so that they set the stage for greatness. And then the results usually take care of themselves. But I also teach them that when we, when we have big wins, when we win, whether it's practice, in the community, in the classroom, big games like we did last night, that we celebrate those wins. So we certainly did in the locker room yesterday. We certainly did today watching film. But then when we went out to practice, it's constantly focusing on the process of setting the stage for greatness, which is always gonna start and end with our daily habits. Seeing Ayana have the game that she had last night, do you think that that might help her kind of come out of the little bit of the funk that she was in? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think now we can say she's probably out of it, <laughs> you know? I think for her, um, the coming back from Christmas break, Ayana Moore has been a different player with a different focus, and that has completely 100% been a choice and decision that she's made. So you guys see the result of it in games, but what you don't see is that she's at practice before everybody and after everybody. She's in the film room. She's working out extra with whoever will be out there with her. She's putting the work in to get the results that you're seeing. And that's why I'm so happy for her that she's seeing that because it doesn't always pan out that way. You know, it, hard work doesn't guarantee success. But Ayana's figuring out what it looks like to grow as a player and as a person and to get results from the work that you put in. Couldn't be happier for the kid because she's been through a lot. And we certainly needed every point that she gave us yesterday. So I was happy for our team also. You talked about building the foundation. Did you see this at the beginning of the season, this kind of run that you guys are on? No. <laughs> I mean, you hope, right? You don't, you don't see. I don't ever expect. Um, I, I always expect the worst. I think as a coach, that's kind of our job. You prepare, you hope for the best, you prepare for the worst. So I'm, I'm always looking for where are the gaps that exist in our program, where are the gaps that exist for our team and for our individuals that we need to close so that we can have the season that I think we're capable of having. Um, and, and again, it kind of goes back to the, the daily habits and for us teaching them. And that's, that's no different really than parenting. It's, it's a relentless consistency in how we approach every day. Um, and that is our foundation. It, it truly is. So I, I hoped and I thought we were capable of it, but I, I'm always preparing for, hey, what happens if it doesn't go the way that we think and how are we going to respond to that? So many wins lately, a lot of people stepping up, very much a well-rounded team as of late. Uh, how great has that been, seeing so many people step into these roles and succeed so much? I love it for our team. I love it for our university. I love it for young girls that are watching. I think when you, when you look at what sports can do for a person, for me, it taught me what teamwork really is. So when you're trying to accomplish great things in life, generally speaking, you're not gonna be able to do it by yourself. And that's the beauty of being on a great team in sports is it teaches you how vital it is to show up every day for something that's bigger than yourself. And, and to, for our kids to learn that, just that alone, to me is, is successful, right? But then to see it create success, to see it create confidence, genuine confidence and not fake, to see it create the culture that we need even though these days are challenging and hard. That game last night was hard. It was hard, it was challenging. Our backs were up against the wall but they had a great time doing it because they got to do it together. And there were opportunities for every person on our team to step up and have a positive impact on that, on that game. And there isn't anything that you can simulate in a practice to create the growth that we had yesterday. I'm really excited for our team, really excited for our program, but hey, we have another game on Sunday, so it's back to work. To see Bella and J.O. step up last night after Jordan fouled out, what did you see from them? I see from Bella and J.O. what I see every day in practice. And, um, and that's some of, sometimes when you have younger players, Bella and J.O. are veterans and they, they understand what it looks like to conduct yourself a certain way so that you know whether it's practice, a shoot around, um, a practice in June, a game in January, that they're gonna be the same. So 
I love all the, the feedback that Bella's got. Bella does that every day in practice. She drops dimes, she makes little teardrops over our post player. She does it every day in practice. So that's why we had confidence in her in those games to know that she's going to show up and do what she does. And same with J.O. Jordan wasn't feeling great. Jordan Cambridge wasn't feeling great. And then she fouled out. Um, and J.O. had to play the point guard. She hasn't played the point guard all year. But she's put herself in position because of what she does in practice to be able to do it when it mattered. Um, and usually that's what it is. There's going to be some level of adversity. It's not going to go as planned. We can have the perfect game plan. Something's not going to go right. Are we ready for that? Are we prepared? Those two always are. And, and so you saw that yesterday and the things that they did to help us win the game. Another big game coming up on Sunday. You're 14-1. and one. Tickets are a dollar to the game. What would you say to fans to bring them out and see what your ladies have been able to put together? Come see us. Come, come see the show. <laughs> you know, come see what uh, all the hard work that we've been putting in. Come be part of uh, this program. Come be part of this community. Come support these young women. They so deserve it. Um, I, I can't guarantee a lot, but I'll guarantee that you have fun. Was it your idea, the dollar tickets? Usually that kind of stuff is not my idea. <laughs> I stick to my lane and that's not it. But I do love it. I think it's a great one. <laughs> you, you touched on it um, about being a little kid. The ability to impact uh, children when they come here, what kind of, uh, I guess, message are you hoping they walk away with? One of the things I think is super important, and as a parent, you know, I have a young five-year-old daughter, is that representation is, is so impactful. So when you're a young kid, seeing somebody that looks like you, um, that is your gender, uh, do the things that you only hope to. You know, you're in the, uh, in the driveway going three, two, one, you know, making the shot. It's not, it's not just the NBA, that there are people in your town, in your city, that are going to college and getting a prestigious degree um, and that can play basketball, that look like you, that come up and greet you and ask you how you are. And to me, those, th that's our demographic. And I know I wouldn't be where I am had I not seen that. I had it. I had it shown to be by my mother and by some, some really great players in North Carolina. I think we have an incredible opportunity to use our platform to help young girls realize their dreams. I know our players had it done for them and now um, it's, it's on us to make sure that we include those, those young girls and not just coming to the game and watching the game, but making them feel like they're part of us so that one day they know they can do it too.